Hi, I'm Brett Twig, Systems Engineer with Landesk. And I'm David McRae, Program Manager with Intel IT. Dave, what's uh, security is getting to be more and more of an issue, and what are some of the things you're seeing in the IT arena as far as security? So the the hackers and the virus writers are getting more sophisticated. They've gone from being the the, the casual um, virus writer to a more of an espionage type uh, uh, controlled environment, or very organized and very targeted towards uh, companies and individuals, and so. Uh, in the old days where we had viruses like Melissa, where uh, it was just a, a casual virus writer, uh, and the effect was that uh, we had to go around and actually physically disconnect devices uh, from the networks while we remediated. Um, VPro technologies will allow us to do these types of things using uh, down-the-wire techniques. That's one of the powerful features of VPro is the ability to have something down there underneath the OS that can't be turned off, uh, can't be affected by malware, that's always kind of protecting your system. That's correct. So some of the viruses, as we talked before, is um, it to turn off the virus uh, scanning tools. And vPro has the ability to uh, watch for those agents and detect whether they're active or not. And then if they're not active, then you can start processes that will restart uh, the virus protection. Let's take a look at an example of that. Um, here we've got a system that we've been kind of playing with a little bit. If I go into this system, I can go down and I can actually set some uh, system defense policies. One of the things I like about system defense is the way it watches for the malware and some of the advanced heuristics in addition to just watching some of the basics like rate of flow for denial of service or a certain packet type. For example, let's take this system and say that uh, it's a financial system and we want to set a policy that blocks and watches for any FTP uh, packets inbound or outbound. Uh, we want to make sure nobody's FTPing to or from this system. One of the nice things also about system defense is we can isolate a system. If this policy gets violated, uh, Landesk will actually initiate a new policy which will isolate that system from the network, block all traffic except for Landesk traffic and vPro traffic. Basically manageability will still happen but uh, nothing else will. And so we're going here and open a remote control session Let's just start a continuous ping to show that we do have some connectivity. So now this system's connected. Uh, we can see that everything's running fine. If I'm sitting out here as somebody that's trying to uh, do a little harm to this financial system or get some information that maybe I shouldn't have, let's go out and just say I'm going to try an FTP to that system. And so I'm going to try and open a FTP session. So one of the key things that you're, you're, you're talking about here is some of the virus protection software ha would not be able to distinguish just for like FTP. Exactly, and this is something the user can't get to. Since we're setting those policies down below the OS, um, it's hard for the user to get down to that level and be able to make changes or anybody that's trying to run some malware. So I'll open this uh, FTP session and we'll see here that that FTP packet will be seen by the uh, vPro um, management engine, that actual filter that's running down there, and it will send an alert back to the LAN desk core. The LAN desk core will then isolate that system and block all ports except for LAN desk and vPro traffic. So we have, uh, in a sense, taken this system off the network, but yet I still have some manageability. I can still go in here and uh, run certain things, whatever I might need to do to actually get this system back up and running. Uh, once as an administrator I've got this system back up and running, I can go in here to the uh, system defense remediation queue and actually put this system back onto the network. And we'll see that uh, the pings will actually start back up again. And so this system is back on the network. So as we've talked about, it's, it's very important in, in these days with the proliferation of the virus activity in the, in the environment to, to stay ahead. Uh, we also talked that uh, it's very difficult for the, the virus protection companies to to keep writing those. There's always a lag there. And the fact that the vPro technologies works under the covers down below the OS and can look for the patterns themselves and you can set policies on those will help uh, make uh, the vPro technology very successful in combating the security uh, issues of today. And having been a previous administrator, one of the things I like is this is all automated. 
So it's not something where I have to detect that something's happened out there and try and isolate a system myself. This will automatically isolate a system immediately upon detection, notify me as an administrator, and then I don't have to worry about this spreading before I find out about it. So Dave, this automatic down on the hardware uh, detection, does that uh, help you with some of the problems you've been seeing? Absolutely. The fact that we're not just dependent on the virus scanning tools that are in the operating system, that we can use the actual hardware to help us out here is a, a great advantage over what we have today. Great.